I say identity plus purpose equals change. We became dreamers. Everything is in front of us. They're doing amazing things. It's going to be like the whole world in my own home. We're not looking at what we have, what we don't have. We're just following our dream. We are the advocates of our communities. That stuff that happens organically because of who the individuals are that have been pulled into that team and that ecosystem. We believe in partnerships, we believe in collaboration. We believe that if we get together and work together, together we can bring about solutions. They play a role that's going to be that change that people talk about in other parts of the world. I believe collectively we can pull it off. Be in the future great people. There are so many opportunities that could be unlocked through connectivity. There's four things that I'd say would be struggles in our community. First, it would be unemployment. Secondly, is lack of identity knowledge. Thirdly, would be education. Fourth, got to be crying. A lot of young people have to leave the community to have access to institutions outside the community. When you drive and you drive like with stuff on your mind like hey, you must be careful there, you must be careful there, it's put like a lot of pressure on you because it's lots of lots of people trying to get to their destinations. Now at that time the people standing in line, that's the time guys come and mark the people along the road. If you have to leave your home at six o'clock in the morning, stand in a queue for an hour and finally getting into the taxi, and then because your journey is not planned because of our road networks to get out of a township and the nightmare getting out of a township. And that's why people actually surrender themselves to the taxi driver and they actually urge you drive faster, drive quicker. That is what I face as a single mom. So yeah, it's like tough to leave your children like and travel long distance to work and come back and then still have to worry about what they're going to eat tonight. My eldest like, is not like going to high school. I would like to motivate him to do good in his school. There's a lot of disabled people out there that is sitting at home. My disability is called Focomelia. It's someone that has short limbs or no limbs at all. So these struggles right here, they all add value. They all add a purpose to a man's downfall or rise. So it's when we look at the challenges and how we overcome the challenges, technology has just become that method that we can really improve the quality of life in our township communities. You will know Mzansi is a marvelous organization within our Delft. I recommend people to come and see that they love their neighborhood, their community. Mzansi was basically a coming together of minds that had a heart for a community. When you allow a person to be able to become economically active in their immediate surroundings, all of a sudden the environment also gets manipulated to be conducive for that person's challenge. And we had to look at where do you find the value within a township community. We believe that if we get together and work together, together we can bring about solutions. And today, if you're connected, it's unbelievable what you can do by just going onto that network. So that, that environment is there. How do we make sure that people are grabbing that and uh, using it to the best uh, of their ability, continually pushing that knowledge that they've got, looking for it. So what we do, we take people through the soft skills program where we get them to build a strong self-image about themselves. We get them to believe in their dreams. It was an adventure for me, it was an adventure for my brain. They motivate you. They motivate your strengths because it's a performance-based industry. People gotta feel good to do good. I'm like a better person. My personality has changed, the way I think have changed, and the way I do things have changed. Our model is, is to bring the industry into the township. So what we did, we applied and we are fully accredited with the MICT CETA as an accredited institution, meaning that people don't need to leave if they're wanting to study in that area or take on that portfolio. The other part of the conversation center that we're putting together is for the person working here to be lifted to a level of competency where they can work for themselves because the individual will earn most probably the same amount of money they will earn in the middle of the CBD, 
but the bottom line, the take-home pay would be more because there's no other expenses with regards to a babysitter, taxi fare, bus fare, train fare. And that's how we're wanting to disrupt the contact centre industry. People that work in call centre or contact centres, they come from township. So, why not create it here? So I came here, I saw it, and I saw the light. That is, for me, it's big. It's great, man. I don't see any other way. It helps me to help the others that are struggling to find jobs so that they can also benefit from the program. The role of technology and, in particular, connectivity, the potential that it has to unlock those economic communities, it has limitless potential. What we're really looking forward to, especially with our collaboration with Mzanzi Digital Republic, is to empower communities and have them join us in our passion for connectivity. We're selling this prospect and, and this concept to inter our international operators in the global market and they, we've brought them here and, and the feedback has been overwhelming that not only is this a blueprint for what is possible but absolutely scalable. It's a new product they have designed now recently. I was actually amazed of everything that the organisation does here for the community. I think one, also the launch of the contact centre today, it's an achievement. And if we can use examples like this or the models that they build the service delivery on, is actually that we can share with other communities. Hi, today I'm Andy. Everybody runs to Musanzi. It is a skill center. Even our children, you know what they did? They didn't know how to write their assignments. Now they know. They go to internet, they go to their Wi-Fi, they see everything. Mzanze has brought it to the community. For us, it's very exciting to say to someone that never ever had access, you have now access to the formal economy. And they've brought in young techie minds who have come up with mechanisms of how to join uh, distribution centers with spaza shops, with grannies connected to a smartphone to the grid and a taxi system delivering the product to her. So when you got to work like the new system, you're not going to have that scared feeling in you to drive. It's like Uber. They contact you and then you go pick up people by this destination and drop them by the other destination. There's going to be like people do the shopping, the, the, the dampers. We must go pick up the stuff and we go drop up by the people's houses. Delft today is a different place because of this and it is going to be a very different place in another year and five and ten years time.